Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the F4 Headquarters podcast. I am your host, the icon, Sean Chaz Stevens. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is part one of two. As right now, we are kind of setting up for what's going to come up here tonight. As we have a big, couple big shows coming tonight. Um, first, I'm going to be letting you guys know that I'm going to be doing this a little bit more often for you guys. And the other thing, which is awesome, is I want to say thank you to the fine people who donated the amazing, who sent the amazing new equipment. So the show runs even smoother and more epic. So thank you to those people and whatnot. (laughs) So today we are in the midst of everything. Um, hopefully you guys are all doing well. Whatever you guys are doing this fine day. (laughs) Um, so, (laughs) where to begin? Uh, we're going to do a short show right now as I am out and about on location. Uh, and then a little later on tonight we're going to reconvene and go on a little bit more. What we're going to cover right now is... Um, just some very basic thoughts on, you know, recently my wife and I have discovered that these movies that are nominated for the Oscars, there's been lately a new trend of these movies being, of all these people who rave about these films. And then when we see these films, we don't quite see the hype behind the films that they're hyping up. So, uh, a little later on today, we're going to examine that a little bit further as I'm going to give you some examples of some films that everyone absolutely loves, some films that everyone loves and adores, and even films that got praise, and I'm going to give you some films that I think are a lot better. <laughs> so that'll be a little later on tonight. Uh, I want to say th- I want to say happy belated Father's Day to all those fathers out there. Hopefully you guys had a good Sunday this past Sunday. Uh, the day where the the kids out there in our lives, um, you know, show their appreciation for the things that we do, our sacrifices we make for them. Uh, but all honesty, it's all for them anyway, right? Hopefully, <laughs> uh, and whatnot. I'm taking my water breaks here in between things. Uh, so yeah. We have a very exciting card coming up also on Icons of the F4L as we're getting ready to get back into the nitty gritty of things. Last week, the the last show on the 14th was the return to regular action, I guess you'd say, as we had some really cool um, matches to start things off. Congratulations to Jojo the Bodybuilder on regaining or winning the first, his first time with the Dream S's Telenet Universal Championship. Uh, Jojo keeps, <laughs> Jojo's had a, a reputation of being the first Grand Slam champion, and every time there's a championship, Jojo seems to win it. <laughs> Whenever given the opportunity, and he doesn't waste them around, so that's a lesson to be learned. Uh, very excited because we're actually planning on scheduling Jojo to take a return here to the FRL headquarters podcast as well. Uh, to catch and I can tell you that we have a rematch scheduled on the 24th, which is coming up in a couple days. Let me tell you about the 24th. So the 24th is the last show of the month for the, for the icons of the F4L, and it's the show that combines both the Dream Warriors and the Dream Masters. So you'll see both the women and the, wi- the men and the women in action. So it should be some exciting things. <laughs> we have a double debut to kick things off as... <laughs> Scotty Brooks makes her in-ring debut. If you're wondering, why does that name sound familiar? Well, you probably know her brothers, um, Lincoln and Jaden, who will be, defend- who will be uh, 
uh, challenging for the Dream Masters tag te Universal Tag Team titles on the 24th as well. But Scotty's going to be opening up. Opportunity to see Scotty Brooks in action. <laughs> Which is awesome. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, here we are. <laughs> um, so again, this is just more of a kind of a test drive with the new equipment. Uh, looks like it works out pretty well. We're not going to be too long, like I said, for this part. Again, we're going to have a part two of part one of two. So in our second half, I'll be going from the house of jazz and i'll be giving you guys um film reviews and we'll be discussing just this uh new craze of how everyone else loves these things and what we're missing but i'm also going to be giving you reviews on films that you probably have seen a thousand times and movies you would think that i would know i would have seen you know sometimes you know being working in the film world and the film business and working in various things. I just happen to have a lot of knowledge of a lot of random uh, movie things. I know a lot about varying movies without ever having to see the actual films that, you know, about them. So, um, you know, I've been going on a hunt and basically going back and watching old classics that I hadn't had a chance to actually watch myself. I got to I can tell you this, um, you know, I'm going to be giving the full reviews on some things later, but I happen to, um, my wife who, you know, to bless her heart and, and to her credit, she watches a lot more things than I do. And sometimes she has um, seen things that I haven't and vice versa. We don't always share the same uh, taste in films or television or whatnot. That's a fact. But, uh, one of the cool things that, um, one of the reasons I'm going to be doing this um, show in a little bit later is because what I want to do is find out, you know, we're going to explore what is, what are we missing on these supposed Oscar winning movies and these movies that everyone else is liking that we just don't see because we both agree <laughs> on some of those films. But I can tell you where we disagree. My wife absolutely loves. My wife absolutely loves the film um, Some Like It Hot that I've heard quite a bit about. And I do know, of course, it... I do know, of course, it is about the... You know, it features the, quote, <laughs> legend Marilyn Monroe. Um... You know, <laughs> maybe I saw the wrong movie with Marilyn Monroe first. And in all honesty, I wasn't heavily inv invested in the film that she was watching. Uh, she watched some like, again, it was some like it hot. Uh, anybody who, who's seen the movie kind of know the premise probably. And I got to tell you, <laughs> I did not miss anything without seeing that movie. Um, there's been 700 other films that have that premise. Now, granted, we have to take into account that this was way back when, so this really would have been the pricks. There have been many films that have preceded this that have done this premise better than what they're offering in this. Um, the acting is deplorable. Um, and I have to say I'm a little disappointed. I've heard so many things about the great, quote, Marilyn Monroe. And after seeing this performance, it's almost cringeworthy. <coughs> Excuse me. And then my wife was to tell me that, well, she's really known more for her looks than her acting ability. And that, to me, is... <laughs> like the worst thing I could ever hear because to me when casting and working in film the last thing I look at is you know the starlight in the the glamour girl I would much rather have someone who can actually perform hold the lines and do a good job 
as someone who has a reputation of being an, quote, icon, if you have that status, you better be a good actor to go along with that, or actress in this case. Um, i got to tell you, maybe I'll watch something else with Marilyn Monroe. So if anybody has any suggestions that's going to show me the good presentation of who Marilyn Monroe is, by all means, hit me up and let me know. Because uh, uh, some like it hot, it was terrible. And maybe it's just because, again, since then I've seen 700 other things with the same premise. There's even been television shows about this premise, and it's really nothing new. Granted, this is something old, and a lot of those might say a lot of them a lot of things preceded that. There's definitely better versions out there, and it wasn't done by the acting. All right, well, that'll do it for part one. Again, a little later on, we'll be right back here with the icons of the F4L. And I'll be talking to you guys about the F4L headquarters right back here. And we'll be chatting more about the icons coming up and that and more. Thank you, and may all your dreams come true. Sean Jones Stevens. Peace, everybody. <laughs>